Denise Berceau from the Thought Leadership Lab, and I want to talk to you about why do you want to be a thought leader. The truth is there's many reasons why my clients have chosen to take that path from leader to thought leader. Some, it was about impact. They really wanted to make a bigger impact for their company, for their idea, for their organization. They wanted a seat at the table where the change was happening in their community, in their industry. Others, it was about income. They actually understood that by having a book, by becoming a speaker in their industry, they could make a bigger income for themselves. Or they could get a new job. And lastly, people come to me because they realize that it is about legacy. They want to leave a legacy behind them. They want others to understand what they know. They want to share their best practices and their lessons learned. But more important perhaps than all of these, for many of us, it's this idea of career insurance. What do I mean by career insurance? Well, the fact is that people like to hire thought leaders. They like to hire people who can make change happen. They like to hire people who can bring others on board with their ideas, who are influential, who are the go-to person. So if you imagine that you could do one thing to create career insurance for yourself, it would be about being known for what you're known for, being that go-to person, being that thought leader who is sharing their ideas and making change happen. I invite you to find more ideas like this on my website at thoughtleadershiplab.com. Thank you.